Hello and welcome to the Infinity V6 Ethernet Physical Installation Walkthrough. Let's begin by unpacking the Infinity V. Once you've received your new Infinity V6 Ethernet device, we'll begin by unpacking the box and seeing what is included. First thing you'll notice is a quick install guide. Go ahead and set that aside. Next is a cable card activation support with phone numbers for activating your cable card. Go ahead and set that aside. We'll need that later on. We'll remove the foam on top. And there is the brand new Infinity V6 Ethernet device. You'll notice it may look, it uh, looks just like our USB unit using the same chassis uh, with the uh, cooling vents on the top and the bottom. We'll take it out of the plastic here and take a closer look. You'll notice where the changes are here. You've got your coax connector and cable card port. Now we have a USB port to attach the uh, tuning adapter directly to the device and an Ethernet port and your power jack. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at everything else that's included. There's a USB cable designed to attach one end to your tuning adapter when applicable and the other end goes into the seat and device. Next, we include a 7-foot Ethernet cable. And lastly, the Seton Brandon AC adapter. Designed specifically for the device. We'll go ahead and set these items aside and we'll get ready to go ahead and set everything up. Physical setup. Before we get started, the items needed to complete the setup include the Infinity V6 Ethernet device, Ethernet cable, AC power adapter, cable card from your cable provider, coax cable connected to your cable outlet in your home, and the USB cable for tuning adapters when applicable. We'll go ahead and begin. We've got uh, a five port switch connected to our home network, cable card from our cable provider, the Infinity V6 Ethernet device, our Ethernet cable, our AC power adapter, and our coax cable. Begin the setup by inserting the cable card into the device. You'll notice that the barcodes are going facing down. Go ahead and slide the card in and seat it firmly. Next, we're going to connect the coax from your home outlet. You want to go ahead and screw it on, make sure it's nice and tight and snug. Next, we're going to connect the Ethernet cable into the port on the Infinity TV device and the other end of the cable into our switch, part of our home network. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and plug the, US, or the uh, AC power in. You'll notice a red LED when it lights up, followed by a flashing blue as the device boots up. Uh, it's going to acquire an IP address. Once everything is set up properly, it'll go solid. There we go, solid blue light. Now you'll notice there is the, the USB port here that is for tuning adapters when applicable. And that is all there is for the physical setup. We thank you very much and hope you enjoy your new Seton Infinity V6 Ethernet.
Thank you.